The EDGE uses Proctor data determined in the lab to provide accurate readings in the field. Here you can see the results of the lab tests and the Proctor curve that is generated. This data is then transferred to the field unit. This allows the field unit to link the Proctor data, such as maximum dry density at the optimum moisture content, to the field tests. The collection of the base material for testing purposes in the lab must be representative of the material to be used at the project site. Use ASTM D75 as a guide for collecting this sample. In the lab, determine and record the mass of each 6-inch Proctor mold and base plate without the collar or soil. Then assemble and secure each mold and collar to a base plate. You can use either Proctor ASTM D698 or modified Proctor ASTM D1557 molds for this purpose. The lab technician will perform one of two tests, either an ASTM D1557 standard test method for laboratory compaction using a modified effort of 56,000 cubic foot-pounds force, or the ASTM D698 standard test method for laboratory compaction using a standard effort of 12,000 cubic foot-pounds force. The technician using the EDGE will need to check the project specifications that will identify the Proctor method for the laboratory procedure. If no Proctor method is specified, the most common Proctor used is the modified test under ASTM D1557. For the EDGE, the Proctor tests are performed using the 6-inch diameter Proctor mold. Once these samples have been produced, one at a time, remove the collar and carefully trim the excess compacted material above the mold by scraping a straight edge across the top of the mold to perform a plane surface. Then, using a scale, weigh the specimen mold and base plate to determine the mass within the nearest gram. Next, take the sample mold and base plate and set it on a stable surface. Take the white HDPE base plate supplied with the EDG lab kit and place it on top of the mold. Take the steel dart from the lab kit and with the supplied hammer, pound it into the center of the sample using the hole in the center of the HDPE base plate as a guide. Remove the HDPE base plate and make sure to pound the dart into the sample so that the shoulder of the dart is flush with the surface. Then, taking the dart seating tool, place it over the dart and with the hammer strike the seating tool one time to ensure the electrode makes excellent contact with the material being tested to allow for the best electrical measurements possible. This is a critical step in the lab testing practice. Next, using the T-handle probe and the hammer, drive the probe into the soil. This will be used to insert the temperature probe later. Now take the HDPE base plate, turn it over, and place the Proctor mold into the round recessed area. Next, take the Proctor lab sensor and attach it to the mounting device. Attach the combined device to the dart. Attach the two wired clips to the rim of the Proctor mold. Plug the power cord into the side of the EDGE lab sensor. You should now be ready to work from the EDG app. If you haven't already, you should download it from the Microsoft App Store. Turn on the EDGE lab sensor by holding the button down until the blinking green light appears. Start the app. 
Click on the blank file icon on the left to create a new Proctor dataset. A Proctor dataset window will appear. Give the dataset a name and provide a soil description. You can fill in a name for the lab technician, soil classification, refer to a curve number, and add information for material source, material ID, or a location. Then click the Add button. When you click the Add button in the nav, and the Add Proctor data point window will appear. Fill in the appropriate information in the fields. This information includes target moisture percentage, Proctor volume, Proctor mold empty weight, sample container empty weight, container plus soil wet weight, and container plus soil dry weight. As you fill in this data, you will see the app calculate the numbers for soil wet density as well as soil moisture percentage, soil dry density, and percentage compaction. Now you are ready to take your first reading from a Proctor sample. Check to make sure the correct EDG device is chosen and click the Take Measurement button to obtain a reading. When prompted, insert the thermometer into the hole you created previously to get a temperature reading. The EDG will record the temperature and display it in the soil temperature field. Once complete, you will see that the electrical measurement and temperature taken successfully message. At this point, save your data point and prepare for the next Proctor measurement. Once all your Proctor measurements have been taken, the EDG app will display them in a Proctor curve. You can view this curve by selecting Proctor from the menu bar. By clicking Data Set, you will see a table of each point in the data set and its attributes. By clicking Outliers, you will see a simple graph depicting the data points along the expected linear line for good data quality. This graph easily depicts any outliers. If any of the points is a gross outlier, it is likely due to poor electrical contact of the dart with the compacted soil, and this proctor point should be repeated. The lab testing is now complete. The completed proctor data set should be transferred to the tablet or PC that will be used for field tests. For technical assistance with Humboldt's EDGE Electrical Density Gauge, please visit our website support page or email our technical department, support at humboldtmfg.com. <laughs>